Victor Villegas, shares of immersion are up 22% so far this year. So I guess you've had the magic touch recently with your touch sense technology. What's driving it? Well, Greg, as you know, technology adoption is accelerating. And as uh, we move into this digital world, we lose our sense of touch. Immersion is focused on allowing you to reach in and feel that digital world. And as a result, we've had a lot of accelerating business interest, uh, new agreements struck uh, that generate significant revenue from licensing of our IP or our technology and our solutions. Uh, so it's, it's a good time for uh, immersion. And you also settled a long running disagreement uh, lawsuit with HTC. So moving on from that, what does that give you? Well, I think the importance of that particular activity was around showing the importance of emergence technology and the strength of our intellectual property. Uh, the settlement resulted in a nice outcome for immersion, not only financially, but also in the recognition that immersion as innovators and the holders of a significant number of patents actually is the leader in the space of technology called haptics. And you also signed a big deal with Kia Sarah in May. Can you talk about that? Uh, that's right. Uh, Kia Sarah is using our software, uh, using our tools, uh, engaging our technical people in enhancing their applications and improving their products, making their products more user friendly, adding a sense of user interface engagement, which is so important in today's digital world. And are you agnostic? You can sell your uh, touch sense technology to anyone, your haptic technology to anyone, or do you have certain deals with certain customers? Oh no, absolutely. We're in multiple markets, uh, wearables, uh, mobile phones, automotive, medical simulation and gaming. We work with all of the world's leaders, uh, big companies and small companies. Anyone who is in this digital world who needs to make their, their products a little more user friendly. And your revenue was I think about 16.3 million uh, in the last quarter when you reported a few weeks ago, that was up 6%. And you talked a lot about how you're growing in China. But what about the worries about the Chinese stealing your technology? Because that's front page headlines nowadays. Yeah, uh, th that is true. I've heard that myself. We're actually experiencing something radically different. Um, they're very engaged with our technical teams. By the way, about half of our company is uh, engineers focused on inventing as well as deploying the technology. And so in China, they want to be competitive on a world stage. They want to offer a solution that's uh, uh, acceptable and very positive for their, uh, for their products, product, product line. Um, and as a result, they want to be on the leading edge and immersions out there on the leading edge with haptics. And as a result, uh, we're finding that they're more engaged than ever before. They need our help and we're more than interested in helping them. And you mentioned wearables. So can you talk about what's coming down the pike when it comes to wearing my immersion technology? What am I going to feel on my clothing? Well, uh, wear my wristwatch or wherever I'm going to feel it. You're going to feel it all over. You're going to probably feel it on your wrist. You're going to feel it above your ears. You're going to feel it on the clothes that you wear. Um, by 2020, they predict over 25 billion devices will be reaching out and sending you information. And that's a lot of information, a lot of contacts, notifications. And so haptics gives you a context rich notice that allows you to uh, become more engaged with the world around you, uh, move away from this distracting, cluttered world that we have and adds a level of human interface, uh, a more engaging, excites your senses, if you will. So the, the wearable market for us is going to be very big. It's how we're going to operate in augmented reality, virtual reality, uh, in a number of new areas, uh, Internet of Things. Things are, are becoming more fast and furious and we want to be able to have them uh, important and recognizable. Yes, they are. Thanks a lot for coming, Victor. Thanks, Greg. Thank you for watching The Street.